idea right now. Yeah, I already did one. <laughs> so we're gonna be doing some watercolor painting and just kind of talking about. Okay, it. So now Look, your live video started. I can see it now. I? Okay, it's all connected. Good. Uh, so here is our drink today. Yuli. Say hello. So if you can see me, you're not seeing me. Hi. <laughs> Hi guys. Yuli has got this great. So Amanda, say okay. hello. Hi. So we are uh, traveling today, 45 minutes into the um, where? West, east, south, south. <laughs> and we encounter beautiful Yeah, it's mostly a ski town here. Ski town. Hiking in the in the summertime. Mm -hmm. There's yeah. a lot of mountain bikers. Mm, and bears. <laughs> it's true, there are bears and moose. I saw a lynx here before. So yeah, the only so time what? I've seen a, a lynx has been here. Here, I'll put this here so we can kind of see it together. Yeah. And um, so today we decided to paint new uh, watercolors. Amanda, look at Amanda's. <laughs> I've had that since college. <laughs> it's already. This I'm so mine. afraid it's gonna this, crack. This one familiar to diamond high schoolers. I usually sub with this little one. So, <laughs> Mine is so big I don't even have room for it. Okay, I'm trying to figure this out. Um, Julia, I need my gloves. This is so much colder than cold? I thought. That's impossible. Uh, okay. Can you hear me? Hi, Doris. Okay. Okay. Is it better? Okay. Without my... We have one mother of a fabulous artist watching right now. Oh, so good, she good. Knows how we'll, the we'll, art we'll figure on the mic situation if you guys hear us. Is it better? Okay. Or I should take away my mic. What do you think? Um, ask Ross. Okay, what is Ross well, saying? He, he's saying that there's so much static. Are you trying to be sparkly? You have an effect I, on I, I like my sparkly. <laughs> Are you sure? I don't think it's good. Okay, he says yes. my sparkly? Yep. No more sparkly. <laughs> All right, well, we're just, okay. We're the not, the not teenager generation who's okay. trying to figure out all the I'm effects on Instagram. I'm going to be without mics because I think it's too much. People okay. are saying that there's static. All right, okay. well, we'll figure it out. Is it better? This is a drawing of some mushrooms I did from the farmer's market. They're these really beautiful oh, little... Show to us the <laughs> How do you say in Russian? Yep. Uh, but we're gonna work on something else right I, now. I did something something on top of the palette. <gasps> I love it! Messed up palette. So you can... Oh, it's it's in, in, in October. So in October. You, yeah, okay. you can go ahead and just pull out um, messed up palettes. This way, you guys don't. That's good exercise. This way, you cannot. Uh, you don't worry about what you're it's doing just and messing it, and it just goes and flows, and um, then you can sometimes create pretty cool uh, postcards. Oh right, that you can yeah, just have like on just paper. Okay, on paper sending to your fair. family. Put it in a little portfolio. So what are we gonna, what are we having today? Oh, uh, I think we're both drinking dark beer. Cheers. But do you remember the work post? What? No, do you oh, remember oh, the, are, what we're talking the name, about? The, no, the name of the beer. Oh, it's the title, the whatever it is called. <laughs> Hippie Speedball. It's a Hardwood Brewing yeah. company yeah. and they do a really good job with it's different dark original beer. flavors. Michael, you like that beer? <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna get my palette kind of juiced up here. Are we have gonna any... do a drink or are we just gonna paint? Um, I think we're gonna do more paint. Okay. I like how in your video they both they see us both. Can we do that to my video somehow? Yeah, I think it, move it so it's a little bit more. So this is going on that side. Like just twist it over some. We're still trying to set up. But what we wanted to do is just go on the theme of improv. So improvisation for artists, for visual yeah. artists. So improvisation. Is anybody uh, good in improvisation, okay. guys? I 
you have are an you? idea. Right. Are you Amanda? Wait, you're saying an improv if someone gave you a name. A, no, like in a art. word. In art. Um, I haven't really done much of that. I'm very measured in how I paint. You can mm -hmm. even see what I did in the sketchbook so far. So I look at a mountain and I paint it. I don't usually vary a lot from that. Really? I want to learn. Yeah, I want to learn how to. So good. Free I mean, myself. Some. It, what what smart people are saying? Do the, do you want to be like? like Particularly with your sketch and go and plan lights, highlights, darks, colds, and then like right. it goes exactly like that and for your painting? No, like I paint, I guess I learned the kind of old Renaissance style of painting where you make a really exact drawing as your first step. Like a perfect drawing is your first step. And then you slowly, very, very slowly. Like my first painting class in college, we only painted one painting the whole semester. Yeah. And so that's what I'm trying to figure out. Like how do I break free from being so controlled in my painting like that? Huh. Oh, so you just did an abstract shape and then you make yeah, it into just, something. Just abstract shape and you go with that. I totally need to do that. Okay, I'm going to do that on my next one. <laughs> <laughs> I need and to figure That's why I brought, like, um, little color, dried color washes, supplies <laughs> from every corner of the house. Okay. And then I'm like, when I situate it and have everything, I start painting. Sometimes I don't even know how long I paint for. But uh, the thing is, Sometimes the paint tells me what, what I'm doing, and my kids okay. usually ask me, like, "So what are you painting?" I'm like, "I don't know." Wow, I, mean, I, I love that. Okay. I do have idea that like today I'm gonna paint birds, right? Or a subject. You have a subject, subject matter, like, okay. or idea of uh, global warming, but I don't know how it's gonna turn out. I don't have plan. Wow. And okay. It's See you. it's actually took me longest time because yes i had the um, academic um training right in the academy and we had to do the skull and ears and yeah. eyes and and painting. even just hands and fingers and, hands and, yeah. all, and the sculpture was exactly the uh copy of the De david um, yeah and so it's <sighs> we never learn how to paint um, okay anything except a play, plain air and lace and leaves and um, circle cubes and stuff. Right, so that's what I'm saying, like it shows your skill and it's a good skill to learn. But how, so how did you take that next step? Like how did you learn well, to? I, I had to untrain myself and that's why I sometimes don't take, uh, mostly, don't take art oh, uh, classes, you know, like oh, lots of good artists come. Other ideas. And, okay. um, and they come and teach you again academic painting, right? Yeah. But I don't teach. Uh, well, I don't go take that class just because it's go. It pulls me back to that uh, the perfect, academic perfect world of yeah. Right. Okay. And so um, I had several classes that um, like impressionistic and expressionistic artists came to increase but not many are you know mm -hmm. those modern artists come to and no, not uh, Alaska is Alaska's not really <laughs> known for right well like, like Jennifer Mountain. Bowman did you take any of the Jennifer Bowman no she she's acrylic painting she'll do the you know just the orange ground and then do the wildlife painting on top she did the poppies originally uh -huh. yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, and it's all good. I mean, I'm glad they people learning and doing it, but it just I try to try to keep myself away from that. So okay, so that's how you protect yourself from getting sucked mm -hmm. into copying other people's art or yeah. doing something. And then sometimes, like I, I teach, I teach well, slightly academic, more more mm -hmm. relaxed painting, but um, when people. I uh, used to ask me like, oh, tell me, you should teach me how you paint. 
I can't. I can't right. teach that. I don't know how I paint. Okay, yeah. And so that's what's so interesting to me because I'm I'm not a painting teacher that can paint step by step, teach step by step either. Well, no, I can't teach. Can't. And that's really that's what my kids were saying. This some um, this uh, they had this huge canvas and they said they told me like, oh, I'm like, is it easy for you to paint okay. like that? The, they had still life composition and, yeah and they're like oh it is very easy I'm like, okay. Okay. <laughs> because I do teach step by step how sh shadows lights um, you know shapes okay. and tint and uh, so on and so right. on but uh, they 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 have they have that understand and it's really easy because if you follow step by step uh, progress you everybody everybody can achieve, can achieve a look, classical right. beautiful um, mm -hmm. well done okay because it's a technique. composition yes yeah. but but how do you create out of yeah. that grape uh, per or whatever vase yeah how you create something that people will start having conversation like, what is it? Why is it? Right. What is happening? Okay. Here, you know. But nowadays, some artists or some places don't care about that, and they just. Well, not everybody needs to know that, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> but that's right. my my um, approach. Okay. So can you feel like you can really teach that? No, I can't teach that. That you that have to. Ex ex experimental stuff yeah. I can't really teach because um, I don't know how it's done because I, I think I know and then I well, come to the medium yeah um, and magic just happens well I mean okay I understand that you can't do it specifically but do you feel that other people can teach how to yeah, I, be I, I encounter one um, Instagram artist who I think teaching that um, way in interesting way she's teaching she does uh, acrylic first okay and she I guess developed the way of she's teaching it before oil painting mm -hmm. so she does acrylic underneath whoa that's really that's crazy I'm gonna <laughs> try that because I that's what it's like a just was missing my my creativity because I need some st stability, right? Right. A structure. A structure yeah. for the painting. Construction. But yeah. like that's what acrylic gives you, right? Right. But yeah. it, I acrylic doesn't give me that warmth and not life fluidity, fluidity and, yeah. and like movement of the color because it's right. dry so quickly into the plastic. So um, basically, um, yeah. Okay, that makes sense. But that that's what next coming up for next show. When well, maybe when, when are we gonna <laughs> have show? <laughs> okay, maybe that's the People mental. Stop, stop dying. I guess every time I've tried to be like that, uh -huh. I get I feel like I've been criticized. Well, do you care what people say? Only in a class. Only when I'm trying to do it right. No, why to... are you doing right? I you don't, don't know. have to be right. Who? Like you think Matisse or or um, what is his name? <laughs> Van Gogh. Well, Van Gogh is yeah. Everybody know about him. Okay. Um, Picasso. Do you think that, like worried about people thinking that he's doing right? Of course, he knew he, how to do right. right. He was always trying to do. He was always trying to experiment. He was always trying to push the boundaries. Well, I think that's With how only media. that's how you can succeed. Or maybe I don't. I nobody knows how you can succeed. Isn't this weird? Yeah, I don't. Like, there is no particular. Right. And nowadays, everybody on the internet try to teach you, try to tell you how it's done, <laughs> <laughs> try to get money from artists, really people. We spend so much money on, <laughs> on the uh, supplies. <laughs> supplies. Don't, don't to make yeah. it right. <laughs> it's true. And somebody should just make a point to. I don't know. To, even when they they want us to teach how to sell art, but they won't don't want to sell our art. What is that about? We have to still pay the money to learn how to sell our art. 